Let's take a look back at all the comic books with a cover date of August 1937. That month there were 12 different comics released. This was a large drop from the month before and the lowest number since January of 1937. Let's start with the newest series and make our way towards the oldest series. Feature Books number 4 featuring Dick Tracy was published by David McKay with an August 1937 cover date. It featured a Dick Tracy cover by Chester Gould and a 95 page comic story featuring the detective mystery character Dick Tracy reprinting from daily newspaper comic strips from 1935. Ace Comics number 5 was published by David McKay with a cover date of August 1937. The cover featured Snuffy Smith and the Cats and Jammer Kids, drawn by Joe Musial. Some of the highlights include Jungle Jim in a four-page story from writer-artist Alex Raymond, reprinting newspaper strips from earlier in the year. Seeing Stars is a one-page story from writer Feg Murray. This reprints from newspaper strips from 1936. And Feg Murray, born as Frederick Murray, on May 15, 1894, lived until 1973. Feg Murray was a sports cartoonist and columnist for the Los Angeles Times and did a feature called True Stories About Stamps in True Comics around 1943. He is best known for his cartoon strip, Sea and Stars, in which he showcased several Hollywood celebrities of the time in the style of Ripley's Believe It or Not. Sea and Stars appeared in hundreds of newspapers between 1941 and 1953. In addition, he was a radio host among others on the Baker's broadcast. This issue also features The Pussycat Princess, a two-page story from writer Ed Anthony, with pencils by Ruth Carroll, reprinting newspaper strips from 1936. Ruth Carroll, born September 24, 1899, lived until 1999. Ruth Carroll was born Ruth Crombie Robinson in New York in 1899. From 1936 through the end of World War II, she had a staff position at King Features Syndicate. In 1935, she took over the Just Among Us Girls cartoon panel from Paul Robinson for a few months. She was succeeded by Walter Van Arsdale. Carol took over the weekly Pussycat Princess comics after the sudden death of its creator, Grace Drayton, in 1936. She continued the strip with scripts by Ed Anthony until 1947. She also illustrated over 36 children's books from 1932 to 1976, and also did cover illustrations for magazines like The American Girl. Blondie was featured in a four-page story from writer-artist Chick Young, reprinting newspaper strips from 1936. Detective Comics number 6 from DC Comics with a cover date of August 1937 featured Speed Saunders as the cover feature by artist Craig Flessel. There is a Billy Wright pedigree copy of this comic. Some of the highlights include Larry Steele in a six-page story from writer-artist Will Eli under the alias Will George. Spy was in a four-page story from Siegel and Schuster featuring Captain Hanley. Mr. Chang is a six-page story from writer-artist Ed Winiarski, featuring the characters Dr. Hugo von Gratz and Igor. This was the last appearance of this strip. Slam Bradley was featured in a lengthy 13-page story from Siegel and Schuster. Tropical Trouble was a six-page story from writer Gardner Fox under the alias Paul Dean with art by Craig Flessel. And Speed Saunders appeared in a six-page story written by Gardner Fox with art by Craig Flessel in this detective mystery. Gardner Fox, born May 20th, 1911, lived until December 24th, 1986, an American writer known best for creating numerous comic book characters for DC. Comic book historians estimate he wrote more than 4,000 comic stories, including 1,500 for DC Comics. Fox is known as the co-creator of DC's heroes, the Flash, Hawkman, Doctor Fate, and the original Sandman, and was the writer who first teamed those and other heroes as the Justice Society of America. Fox introduced the concept of the multiverse to DC Comics in the 1961 story Flash of Two Worlds. Fox's earliest stories for DC featuring Speed Saunders with art by Craig Flessel and later Fred Gardner began with Detective Comics in number four and ran in each issue. Speed Saunders was initially credited to E.C. Stoner, which many believe to be an alias of Gardner Fox. 
The Funnies, number 11, featured a Mutt and Jeff cover. It was published by Dell Comics with a cover date of August 1937. Some of the highlights include Dan Dunn in a four-page story from writer-artist Norman Marsh, Tailspin Tommy in three pages from Hal Forrest. Hal Forrest also gave us a short one-page story of the Four Aces. Sheldon Mayer returned with Scribbly in a two-page story of the popular teen character. Bob Moore wrote two different stories, Don Dixon and the Hidden Empire and Tad of the Tanbark, and both featured artwork by Carl Fufer. Tip Top Comics number 16, published by United Feature Syndicate with a cover date of August 1937, featured a Tarzan cover. Some of the highlights include the characters Tarzan, Little Abner, Bronco Bill, and many others. Gerber lists this issue as uncommon. King Comics number 17, published by David McKay Publications, cover date August 1937. The book featured all the top characters that the King Features Syndicate had to offer at the time, led by Flash Gordon. The cover features Popeye falling victim to a prank by the one and only Henry to the amusement of Jigs from the Bringing Up Father strip. And there's also Eugene the Jeep and Wimpy. Some of the highlighted characters include Flash Gordon, Little Annie Rooney, and King of the Wild Mounted. New Adventure Comics number 18, published by DC Comics, cover date August 1937. The cover is by Craig Flessel. It's a surfing cover. Gerber calls this issue rare. Highlights include Dale Daring, a two-page story from writer-artist Bill Eli under the alias Will Georgie. And he also did the Nadir Master of Magic, four-page story also under the alias of Will Georgie. Craig Flessel wrote and drew Steve Conrad Adventure in a four-page story. And Sequel and Schuster gave us Federal Men in a four-page story featuring the characters Steve Carson and Ralph Ventor in their detective mystery series. Popular Comics number 19 published by Dell Comics cover date August 1937 featured Don Winslow of the Navy, Skippy, Harold Teen, and Gasoline Alley all on the cover. Dick Tracy is featured in a four-page story by Chester Gould, Little Orphan Annie in a four-page story from Harold Gray, Terry and the Pirates in a three-page story from Milton Caniff, and Skull Valley in a short story from Garrett Price, featuring the characters Bob and Pud Scum. And Garrett Price also gave us Funny Fauna in a short story. Garrett Price, born 1896, lived until 1979. He became an illustrator for The New Yorker in the 1930s. In 1933, he developed the half-page Sunday strip White Boy about the adventures of a young boy who is captured by a tribe of Native Americans, eventually living peacefully with them and learning their ways. About halfway through its run, the strip suddenly switched both its locale and time period to a dude ranch in the 30s, dropping almost all the characters and situations that had been developed thus far and changing its name to Skull Valley and Skull Valley ran until 1936. Price then left the comics field and focused on his work as a cartoonist and cover artist for The New Yorker. Mickey Mouse Magazine, number 23, published by Western, cover date August 1937. It is volume two, number 11. Features Mickey Mouse and Pluto on the cover. Some of the highlight stories include Donald Duck and the Three Little Pigs. More Fun Comics number 23 published by DC Comics cover date August 1937 featured a cover by Vincent Sullivan of a kid riding a horse. Some of the highlights include Radio Squad in a two-page story from Siegel and Schuster. They also gave us the four-page story Doctor Occult. It was a busy issue for Craig Flessel who wrote and drew Pet Morgan for two pages, Hanko the Cowhand for two pages, Bradley Boys for two pages, and Thrilling True Stories featured his art in a two-page story written by Richard Speed. Will Eli wrote and drew two different stories, Jack Woods, four-page story, under the alias of Will Georgie, which he also did for a four-page story of Johnny Law. Famous Funnies, number 37, published by Eastern Color, cover date August 1937, the longest-running modern comic so far. Napoleon is featured on the cover with art by Victor Pasmino. Some of the highlights include War and Crime in a four-page story from writer Rex Collier with pencils possibly by Kemp Sterrett. This was the first regular published crime genre story in modern comics. 
There's also a four-page Buck Rogers story from writer Philip Francis Nolan and art by Rick Yeager under the alias Dick Calkins. And S.M. Iger gave us the one-page Queenie story, as well as a one-page Bobby story aimed at young readers. Copyright Eisner Iger.